everyone welcome back again to my channel you know on my last video i said this week uh next week i'll be talking mostly about batwing on how to draft different types of batwing blouse or top so today is the first video where i'll be showing you how to draft a batwing a top but this batwing top i'm going to be drafting is the one that you don't use a zipper i would suggest this pattern this battery pattern is mostly for stretchy elastic fabric like this so this one pattern paper this pattern is mostly for i would suggest it's for this kind of material you know so stretchy type so let's get down to it my friend so on this video i draft out a basic bodice i have a video where i showed you how to draft a basic bodice pattern you can have a look at that video where i took my time to explain how to draft a basic bodice pattern but this one i'm going to quickly go over it for you and please if you're not subscribed to my channel before please subscribe and don't forget to give my channel if my video a thumbs up and leave your comment down below so what i have here today is a pattern which I've already quickly drafted. I've already put this on the video. If you can notice, this is two pattern paper. This is for the back panel and this is for the front panel. But if you are folding your fabric, please don't fold it like this. No, you ha your fabric has to be unfold. So this is just a pattern paper. Your back also has to be unfold. If I mean unfold, is this. I mean this unfold and your fabric folded together you see that so in this pattern paper what i have here is the back there's no zipper allowance like i said before this is the back neck depth and the front neck depth and the ham hole this is from the shoulder to the um, on the on to the bust there's no that bust here this is from shoulder to the waist and this is the length of the blouse and this is the front neck which is five six inches and this is the back neck which is 1.5 inches so yeah i'm going to use the sleeve length of 20 inches so i'm going to take my tape measure like this From here, so I'm going to measure at 20 inches. So here, my sleeve length is 20 inches. Oh, I'm, back. I'm struggling with my tape. My table is falling off. So from here to here is 20 inches, like so. So now, I'm going to rule out a straight line from here, from my shoulder slope here. To the 20 inches length which is for my sleeve length so I've ruled out my sleeve length from here to there so at this point here I'll put my wrist measurement here's my wrist measurement what I have here is 7 inches so that's 7 inches you divide it by 2 what you have is 3.5 so here is 3.5 I'll go here like this Put in 3.5 here 3.5 so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to read that from here to there so that's my wrist so the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm from my length of my blast here I will just create a curve from here to my waist, from the length of my blouse to my waist. Then I will just create a curve like so to meet this top. You see, to meet that uh, my wrist measurement. So, but don't forget your wrist measurement. You need to add half an inch for allowances for a certain allowance. So you just put a half an inch. So 
so now I'm going to connect use this place to connect it like so so it's better to start from here you see alternatively let me draw it as I can see properly let me mark it out for you so you can see properly from here to this place so you see when you use that method you have this kind of shapey batwing blouse but if you want to add elastic to your bathroom blouse at the hand at the, at the hand hole here, what you simply do is to you know your wrist was my wrist was seven inches and I divide to by two and what I have was three point five. So if you want to add elastic in your hand hole, what you simply do, you take your tape measure like this. Sorry friends, my black ink has finished. So I'm going to throw away this ink. It's finished. So you take your tape measure like this. You had 3.5 to it. Then I'm going to rule it from here, from here to there. So now that I've doubled the ham the wrist length. So what you simply do here is this. You simply start from here again, from your length of your blouse. Then from there, to connect your waist to the length of your blouse. So you can see how big it is. So now at this point here, now you can now add elastic at this hand hole, at your wrist here, sorry, at your wrist, to, to make it look like a gathered, you know. So when you add elastic to it, you now get 3.5 when you add elastic to it, because it will be gathered at the wrist here. So my friends... I hope you like this tutorial. Like I said, this this pattern paper works best with this kind of fabric. Yeah. Because I'm not adding a zipper allowance to it. But if you want to take the chance to add the zipper allowance to it, it's not really up to you. But I would advise that this kind of pattern paper, this kind of batwick design is good for this kind of stretchy material. Because there's no zipper allowance to it. So my friends, I'm going to cut it out so you can see what I did. I'm going to cut out from here, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down to this place. So, like I said, as you can see, I've already trimmed the shape of the bat wing. You see, it looks like a bat wing. I would like to tell you something. When you are placing this pattern paper on your fabric, ensure you had one inch at the bottom here yeah, one inch 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 because you need that one inch to attach the back panel and the front panel together please don't forget that so you can get your right measurement and also at the shoulder here yeah, ensure you leave one inch as well for your sewing allowance remember you're going to have the back panel and the front panel together so make sure you leave one inch from from your shoulder Stop. this is for your sewing allowance one inch just follow the shape one inch just follow the shape there that is very important so you can get your right measurement one inch one inch so I'm going to do that one inch, one inch to this tip here. So if you can, if you can notice, I've dra I've drafted the one inch for your sewing allowance. So you need this one inch to attach the front panel and the back panel together. So when you're attaching it, you know that you have 
uh, allowances to attach it we attach from here so you can get your right measurement from here so and also at the bottom i left one inch as well for the bottom to fold your fabric neatly so i hope you like this tutorial like i said if you want to use if we, this is from year to year is the full wrist which is seven inches but if you yes this one if you that is if you want to add a gathers to it or you want to just leave it so that your we want your wrist to be free but if you want your wrist to be the blouse the blouse to attach your wrist like a fitted blouse you take your 3.5 here then you now draft you now draw your back twink this way you see the shape so that's it my friends so if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so for now one love one peace and bye for now bye for now